minutes again. Uh, I will spend about 10 to 15 minutes to introduce the common coordinate systems using in the study of astrodynamics. The first one is the celestial sphere. <coughs> celestial sphere, uh, basically there are two ways you can uh, <coughs> we can use. The first one is we imagine in terms of the Earth, we imagine this this shape, um, there's a sphere uh, based upon the Earth and then basically expanding uh, to uh, infinity and that is this one we call the um, the Earth based, the Earth based and the other one is uh, using because the Earth has been tilted by uh, 23.5 degrees. So that is the one of the coordinate system. The other one is using um, the uh, non-tilted, basically the same, uh, the same sphere, but the orbital planes for the two system basically is 23.5 degrees in tilted, okay? And in terms of these spherical coordinate systems, we um, have a ways to measure. One is, um, <coughs> In spherical corner systems, we use uh, two angles and one radius. So here, this is the radius, and then also we um, we decompose. So this is one angle. Let me call the theta one, and this is another angle theta two. So basically, for any spherical corner systems. We use three coordinates, one angle, uh, two angles, and then R. Okay, and depends on which way you want to uh, place. Sometimes they call the R, theta one, theta two, whatever. Okay, so <clears throat> in terms of the two thetas, and in these systems we uh, use is called the uh, right uh, accession. So right accession that basically is the longitude measurement. Okay, the other one is called the declinations. Declination basically is the uh, the attitude, attitude measurement. Okay, so that's the two angles, and then also depends on which locations of that object is the way defined R. So that is the three elements we use. And in particular, uh, we here, we want to introduce the concept of the equinox and so equinox basically is a particular point, and here is basically is the intersections of the two planes. One is the equatorial plane, and one is the uh, e e uh, eclipse. I think that is the word. So basically intersection of the two planes, and then that will intersecting into a line, and that line, and pointing to the vernal, so which means the autumn uh, equinox, and that is pointing to uh, 2,000 years ago, that direction is pointing to the installation of iris, okay, 2,000 years ago. And, but right now, this, uh, this direction, uh, the vernal equinox, and the autumn equinox has been changing a little bit because of the 2,000 years later, okay. <clears throat> so this is a particular direction, and this direction, in terms of the short period of time, pretty much is fixed, in constant in space. So this is the common axis and the axis we can use. Okay. So this figure basically introduced is the the uh, this direction we call the I axis, and then we use right angle, uh, right hand rule to define I J K corner systems for this. Okay. And again. This is the equinox and the autumn equinox directions, and basically that is pointing to a fixed location in space. And we should uh, look up the uh, Elmat, Elmanic. Okay, so that will give us, say, at which year, which day, and what is the direction of this line is, and then in this way we have a precise information. Okay, so that is for <coughs> Um, here again, this one is a little bit more clear uh, definitions of the uh, spherical, the celestial spherical corner systems. Here again, we have the right ascent, uh, <coughs> the accessions, and sometimes people call it RA, and we also measure the uh, attitude called the declinations. The two terms are used in uh, STK. Okay. 
Okay, so if you have done this one, if you remember, basically you will see this one. Uh, nothing more, this is a longitude and this is a latitude. And again, this is another illustration of this. So basically that is the same as the longitude latitude we use in our uh, first flow. Um, <coughs> Yeah, so from there onward, then the next one is we call the, uh, the sun based. The, the using the sun as the center and we use this as the corner systems. And this one we call the uh, heliocentric uh, ecliptic corner systems. And basically they're using, is, they're using the um, ecliptic plane and that is the orbital plane of the Earth around the sun. We use this as a base plane, and then uh, basically IJK, IJ coordinate system is on this plane. K basically using right hand rule. And again, in this corner system, we point in I, I axis to the vernal, uh, the vernal equinox direction. Basically, again, this point, this direction, basically is pretty much pointing to the installations of the iris. Okay. And that is the system we basically describe to uh, use to describe the the solar uh, the solar systems. Okay. And again, for this system, they still use the uh, the RA and inclinations declinations for uh, describing the locations of the object. The third one is a Earth-based. We call it geocentric. Uh, corner system. Basically, here uh, for the Earth space, uh, again, uh, here we have again the two angles, and on the Earth space, if you like, you can say that is really again the using RA and the declinations. And on the Earth space system, because that the system is most of the time using to describe the locations of anything surrounding the Earth. Okay, so basically, we naturally we pick up the uh, equatorial plane as our base plane. Again, for these systems, we point in I axis or X axis to the uh, vernal equinox. Um, this is the comparisons between if we overlap the corner, the center, the origin of the corner systems of the Earth space and the the um, the sun space, the the uh, the helio uh, centric, then basically they have tilted uh, uh, by 23.5 degrees. That is defined by the tilt of the, the rotation axis of the Earth. Okay, and that is nothing special. Basically, if you like, you can say the angle is 23.5 degrees. Um, the fourth one, one two three four. The fourth one. It's called the top centric uh, corner system. This top centric corner system, basically, this is a very special uh, corner system. This one, basically, is a local uh, corner system. Still, again, top and corner system uh, that is attached to a particular locations on the surface of the Earth. So, for example, we attach to Fairbanks here. Okay. So, basically, that corner system has the origins located. Uh, on the surface of the Earth, at any point you designate it, and how, why we want to use this one? For example, to the GI, the GI, uh, the Akasovo building in the top, they have a uh, radar, right? The radar can measure something. In this way, it might, might be convenient for them. They simply locate the origin of that local corner system to the radar, the <coughs> location of the radar. Okay, and in this way they can be able to quickly convenient uh, measure something in terms of the their, their local locations. Okay, so in this way again, this is one kind of the Cartesian corner systems. Uh, we have uh, x, y, z, uh, three axes, and how to define the x, y, z uh, three axes? Again, the first one you define the location you want to have the origin to be located. For example, the fifth floor of the the fifth floor of the GI buildings. And there, they should have a very accurate longitude and latitude of the locations. 
the next step, you define the uh, what we call the i, the x, y, the x axis. The x axis is in a way that is the line tangent to the local surface there and pointing to right to the south. So if you go to there, say, you say here I define my our local um, top central corner system here, what here I'm stand here is the origin. So I'm simply looking for where is the south, and south could be pretty much there. So that direction, so the floor is our x, y plane, and south is that direction, so that is our x axis. Okay? Once we have x axis, simply we apply the right hand rule x, y, z. So we have using a right hand rule, once we have identif identified the x axis, so we simply use the right hand rule to define the y axis and z axis. Okay? And Rather than using X, Y, Z, here we're using the very special uh, notation here using S, E, Z. S means this axis pointing to the south axis, and E, that means with respect to the X, Y, Z, so E is the Y axis uh, relevant to S, so here pointing to is the eastern side, so that's an E. And Z simply is the go to the uh, sky, so S, E, Z. Okay, so here we have this particular corner system we call it as easy corner systems. And at the different cities, different locations, your as easy will be different. So that means if you have, say, the two radar sites, and at the different cities, you build up the information based upon your local as easy corner systems, then you have to do the local, the, the coordinate transformations to communicate data between two sites. Okay, got the point? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now, uh, for example, here is as easy. You can see as easy. We use the right hand rule. As easy, that is the three coordinate axis. Okay, in this corner systems, we're going to measure something, and again, using two angles and one radius, three coordinates to constitute the description here. And in particular, this system is so weird, so I spend a little bit more time to introduce to you. So in this as easy corner system, how can we uh, measure the angles? The first angle is RA, uh, not RA, uh, yeah. The first angle is to measure, uh, is something like this. It, the row is the same like theta one here. And, but that one is called the uh, arithmetic angle, A, uh, a Z I and U T H. The writing is not so clear. A Z I. Azimuth angle. So basically, that is the angle measured from. So, for example, in let me do this one. So this is our S E Z system. Okay, so here, for example, say uh, if we have one object here and say a certain celestial object there, say satellites. So here, this is the our floor plane uh, in this building here. So to identify this one, the first one, we know we have the distance r. Okay, so r will be one coordinate. And then uh, we project, let me. Uh, So we projecting this point onto the SE plane, then we have um, the two informations here. So the first one is this angle. Once we project this point onto SE plane, then we simply measure this angle as our second one, and that one, let me call it AZ. Uh, AZ. This angle, uh, that is the notation used in our textbook. AZ, that simply means the brief a brief for uh, azimuth angle. Okay, this AZ is measured from the. <coughs> seems I made a mistake. So sorry, S E Z. So this is S. This is E. Okay, that's typo here. So S E Z. Yes. So this is the axis pointing to this north, and that is the axis uh, pointed pointed uh, sorry to the south. This to the north. So AZ, this angle is measured from the north. I don't know why, but we simply follow the conventions. Okay, so here we have the second uh, information. 
which means here we dump this one, we dump this one. Then the next one is we measure the, the second angle. That is the elevation, basically the latitude, and that one is measured from the uh, from the plane to here. So that is this one. Okay, so that angle is called the EI, elevation, sorry, EL. Okay, and this angle is called the uh, elevation angle, and here we have, yeah, basically EL means elevation, okay. So that is the um, uh, conventions for defining the corner systems in terms of this, uh, the as easy corner systems. Okay, to be correctly um, communicate with the, all the data, other things, we have to follow those kind of conventions. And nothing much to say because people define it, we simply follow the same platform. Any questions about this? Okay, so the last one, the fifth one, we talk about is uh, the celestial spherical corner systems and uh, the Earth, the Sun-based uh, helio uh, corner systems, the Earth-based corner systems, and then the top, the SEZ, the local uh, surface top corner system. The, the last one is called the peripheral corner systems. This one we call the uh, using the notation PQW, and again. Those notations are to follow up our textbook and for you to easily uh, follow up our textbook. So PQ system. This system is in particular to describe the locations of the satellites on his orbit. So the key word is to describe on the orbit, describe the movement on the orbit. So naturally we attach the corner system's plane, fundamental plane, onto the orbital plane. So that means here the PQ constitutes Q based coordinate systems. The plane on which they constitute is aligned, is basically cover the orbital plane. So PQ aligned to the orbital plane, and then W, PQ, W, W simply is an outer plane. So W pointing to the angular momentum of these uh, orbits. Okay. So <clears throat> depends on the different uh, satellites, the PQW will have the different, you would have a different PQW. Basically, again, uh, PQ is to constitute in the orbital planes here. Okay, so we have five. Um, so you, uh, any question about the five corner systems? No? Okay, and we have additional, and uh, STK, Using our the, the kind of software, they might have even local one, and the two are not very common. Uh, this one we talked about before. This one is not very common. This one is really we attach the local corner system on, uh, corner systems onto the satellite itself. So, which means imagine a, a, a say observer, for example, the International Space Station. So the astronauts there, they might define their, based upon their observation, so they have attached local corner system in um, ISS, and so that is the spacecraft based. This one is not very common. So this table uh, summarizes the corner systems we have, and so here we have one, two, three, four, five, and here, um, I think this, this one. But uh, anyhow, the most important thing is on the applications. Depends on the applications, we can pick up whatever the convenient for the systems to use. Okay, and I simply already described uh, when we talk about those things. So basically, just for your uh, reference. And the slides, this one has been uploaded onto our platform, so it's available. Okay, so quickly, uh, we use about 20 minutes, uh, introduce the common, um, the corner systems, okay, and the second portions, 